renal uh, cohort of patients. So if we move on. Do you, can you see those pictures nice and clearly there? We, we see them perfectly. Thank you. Great. So, so I think what we'd like to demonstrate, it, if possible, is... Just, thank you. Hit record. Thank you. So it's a five-beat assessment, very quick. If you're unhappy, you just make it. And if you hit pullback, Shai's got the needle introducer out, but the port done up. You wait a few beats, then you start screening and slowly pull the wire back uh, as you come back uh, towards the guiding catheter. So the wire's coming back now. So what you can see is it coming back again in this nice blue line, which is the solid blue line and trend line. And underneath that, you have the dotted line, which is actually the raw line. It looks like there's a couple of nice step ups here. If we stop the recording there, which is very nice. And nice. And then I'm going to just start take control if I can from the table here. And I'm going to mark a few features onto the uh, uh, the angiogram itself. This is the co-registration system. I'm guiding this all from a little joystick on my fingers here. And I'm gonna, I just need to put a few markers on it. This is again going to be fully automated, but it shows us where the guide catheter is, shows us where the stenosis is, and we put this to where the wire wire position was as well. And I think. I think that's broadly okay. You can see it's, I think, catching that circumflex very slightly. It's there's a little bit of uh, indecision there and there. So I'm just going to just tweak the wire position itself. That's moved up a little bit too much. I'm just going to come down with that. <coughs> that looks pretty good for me. I'm going to go there. And uh, we're going to just do the co-registration. takes a few seconds to happen. And uh, I hope that that happens. Yeah, there we go. So now we've got the co-registration mistily. We can just move the mouse. I'm doing this all with my hand over that area there. The distance is quite further up here, you can see, which is, again, looks like it's quite a big lesion. I've just covered that area. You may want to go longer or shorter, whatever you're... Or afternoon. Hi. Um, I'm a bit late. I had a conference. Are there any data for post-stenting IFR measurements and using IFR post-stenting? And I think knowing what you could potentially reach. So if we know that we'll never even ever reach, so... So another stent's gone in there, Jack. So yeah. Well, there we go. It's not far off. Point, uh, point eight seven, point eight eight. Again, yeah. Justin. 